the format of being robot. On October 20, 2003, an adult swim bumper was released that disturbed people around 12 midnight. Accordingly, the bumper was called Gun and was made in 2002, a year before the incident was spread in Cartoon Network's studios. The idea of Photo Show would later be 12 Oz Mouse, later in 2005. The event happened when Adult Swim started after an episode of Dexter's Laboratory. The bumper started with text appearing behind a starry night background, and what sounded like a male robot voice saying, what you're about to see is a recreation of a Halloween bumper made back in 1987, before Adult Swim was even thought about. However, since tonight is the night of frights, we thought we might air the bumper. Suddenly a deep and demonic voice said the last part. You have been warned. Static suddenly warped the screen, before it cut to few stills of unnerving scenarios that unraveled like a murder case, some of shows being old or never made. The Groovenians, a pile of bodies sat next to the talking tree, while ominous silence overtook the scene, with the screen slowly panning out to show the houses, all black with absolutely no colors. Metalocalypse, the band was doing a live show during the apocalypse, but the band succumbed to a zombie apocalypse. Pickles was mauled in the face. Toki was bit in the back before being devoured in the body. William's face was violently torn off, and even Nathan was pulled back, and violently ripped to shreds with sounds of eating, snarling and growling. Samurai Jack, Aku was facing a mangled and dead Jack, hung in chains, as Aku was menacingly laughing, finally taking the upper hand and defeating Jack once and for all. With the last part showing the same sword Jack was holding, stabbed into his body, as he lets out a pained howl. Space Ghost, the main character was at the same studio, where he did the talk show. He mumbled something before you heard him whisper. What have we done? Really, what have we done? Suddenly, the volume extends as Space Ghost looks at the camera and screams. What have you done? The camera suddenly explodes into static with an AS on the screen, along with the same demonic voice saying, and laughing, the screen snapped to black and stayed there for what felt like two hours, before call movies suddenly played. Exactly after the complaints started coming in, the creator of the bumper, Dave Willis, who worked on Aqua Teen Hunger Force, apologizes for the complaints and Cartoon Network. It was for using the Adult Swim license as a leverage excuse to make a horrific nightmare scenario, which was said according to Brandon Lively, which was later bashed when learning with Katie was introduced, but that's another story. The bumper was stored away in the vaults, along with unreleased pilots and cancelled shows. It was mentioned in Comic Con, but it was later changed after Seth MacFarlane's panel was about to start, forever engraving people with the burning screams of the Adult Swim icons, 